initiating match. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grant Lyon, the director of esports here at Center College. Um, unfortunately, I could not get any casters for this evening's somewhat late Saturday match. So you are stuck with me doing camera and voice. Apologies in advance. We are facing off tonight against Florida State University, Panama City, FSUPC. Ready. This is their A team. We're starting things off on Lijong Tower. This is our second Peach Belt Conference match for Overwatch White. Off of an incredible 3-0 victory from the first one last Saturday. We're excited to see what the Colonels can do this time. Starting off, we have Skello Jello coming into the tank role. Looks like we're playing a pretty, pretty brawly comp here. Star Garden, starting off on the Symmetra, gonna get the team to point as fast as possible. Rat King with the Juno also helping speed things up a bit. And Center College does take point. We'll take control of that area quick. Of course, the point is not unlocked for another 10 seconds or so. See a similar Ramatra comp come out here from FSUPC. But the support lineup looking quite different. See those first picks out from FSUPC onto Center College. Adama and Skello Jello both going down. The rest of the team looks like they're going to be able to get out safely. Thanks to some great heals from Rat King there not what you want to see as center college they were able to get to the point faster but they weren't able to secure those crucial opening picks to make it all worth it it's already going to be almost 20 percent on the point here for fsupc as center starts to regroup go in for this next engagement an early ultimate out here from fsupc on the baptiste that's going to cause center to just kind of waste some time they're not in the line of fire of it they're able to get out of the line of sight and now that that's happened, Center's going to go in with an alt of their own. That's from Rat King on the Juno. A great lamp here from FSUPC, able to deny a lot of the uh, you know extra damage that would have come out from this. Um, and things are being traded. It looks like things are tending to go in Center's favor, though, with a great alt from Skellojetl there, able to get a lot of extra damage and sort of clean some things up with some of the resources being taken away from FSUPC. They didn't have lamp when those second and third alts started to come out. Gonna see FSUPC coming around on the left side here. They've got the ult advantage. Only Dudu Voodoo will have one in this next fight, and only if he stays alive here for a little bit. We'll see if he can get a lot of damage out of that, but it's Fu. Or maybe it's Fo, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but they are getting a huge amount of damage into center college. That's most likely gonna be the play of the game here from FSUPC. Very incredible Reaper ult here. Uh, no alts online for FS FSUPC. Um, pretty soon going to have their second Baptiste alt, though. Back over to Center College. Now Center's going onto this left side. Can see what they can do. Maybe maybe repeat some of the magic of FSUPC. Dudu Budu in a great spot. Maybe get a cheeky ultimate off here. But he is found, and Stargarden is looking awfully low. A lot of pressure onto Center College. And the tank falls. I think Center is having a lot of difficulty playing around this lamp in particular. They are just getting so much value out of it from FSUPC. Dudu Budu still has the alt online. Adama falling off the map, likely to deny alt charge. Um, but as things tick up to 95, 96, it's, it's, uh, it's looking pretty hairy here. Dudu Budu on his own on the point to try and stall this out and get, get things into overtime. Probably gonna look to alt here, but the May has that freeze get herself in the in the ice block and now now the freeze ultimate out here it's denying pretty much the entire point from center college they really have no alts available here um rat king not going to be able to live either that is going to be round one going to fsupc and and pretty strongly in, in, in their favor throughout that really only one moment where center was able to take it Right, round number two. 
Let's see if some changes come out. Center College, Star Garden, swapping under the Venture for a moment. Might be starting on the Symmetra and then swapping to Venture in just a moment here. Um, just to get a little bit of that extra speed. Adama still sticking on the Brigitta, Rat King on the Moira. Let's see the exact same comp here from FSUPC. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I think that's a wise move from them. Denying that, uh, that shield angle uh, with a great wall. Already kind of put center in a hole here. But center able to rotate down onto the point. And the first pick is going to come from Adama onto their uh, support counterpart here. But then Adama falls as well, so things are, things are evening up. Due to Buddha with a pick onto the Lucio. There's no supports here for FSUPC. This is a great position for Center College to be in. They just need to clean some things up. And Rat King, Star Garden, and Skello Jello are able to make that happen. Center going to get an early lead. Also looking around 50% here across the board for Center College. Not too far off here for FSU PC, but those early picks under the supports mean that we are going to have our support ultimates online faster, especially this coalescence from Rat King on the Moira. Coming in through this kind of back room here. Sort of walling off some of some of Center's members. Center able to kind of collapse back onto the point, just back up a little bit. It's their fight to lose, so you want to play this on point. Getting some low health bars. Gonna see the ultimate out here from Foe, but Rat King able to keep the team alive other than Star Garden. A lot of ults coming out here. Center looking to play out of the line of sight from, from all this pressure here. Skelojello close to an ult of his own, and he's gonna go ahead and pop it. Baiting out the beat as well. Pretty much every resource that's able to be expended here is getting expended. Looks like Center's gonna come out on top. Not killing absolutely everyone, but um, getting the picks that they need to at least secure the point. No alts available for either team here. You can see a, just a dry fight here. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's going to be the mail out. Great freeze on the Skello Jello. Even with all the support in the world, that's going to be really difficult for him to get out of that. Adama falls as well. Center might look to just stay on point enough to, to possibly push it into overtime. But Doodoo Buddha with a very aggressive death blossom here is going to say, no, we don't we don't need to take it to overtime. We're, we're just going to we're just going to win it right now. That's a very, very decisive alt there from Dudu Voodoo. I wish I, I, I got a better camera angle of it for you all. That's going to tie things up. This is quite a reversal from, from round number one. Wonder if we're going to see the same you know, damage lineup here with Star Garden would uh, swap over to the Venture. Looking at some similar things here, but a Moira new pick here for FSU PC. Let's see if that could kind of start to match some of some of Center College's speed. And actually exceed it because the Lucio, Lucio and Moira together, I mean that is that is a very, very fast support lineup. Fast and brawly. We're gonna see things happen here. Star Garden TPing the team onto the point. Gonna go ahead and bunker down here, getting those turrets placed. <laughs> when they all get taken out, I'm not sure from what. Star Garden looking awfully low. A lot of center looking low, and it's gonna be Star Garden falling first. Some pressure on the center college's support as well. They need a quick, quick pick here to equalize things, and it's not gonna happen. is going to go to FSUPC. Stragglers from center going to go ahead and regroup with the team. With that victory, of course, FSUPC looking a little bit closer to their alts. We're likely going to see Tim Elg, if, that's, if I'm saying that right, on the Moira from FSUPC with the first alt most likely here. Dudu Budu, an unfortunate early pick that's going to put center at a huge disadvantage into this fight and a great wall here is putting tons of pressure into center 
And that's that ult. Knew we were going to see it first. Skelajello has ult for next fight, but the percentage is racking up for FSUPC. Center yet to answer back. Maybe having some tools here. But going to need to get themselves in the position to be able to use them. And with these incredible, you know, May walls and great pressure from the DPS from FSUPC, it's very difficult to do that. It's all these incredible zoning ultimates. And they're using the coalescence of their own, but it's, it's just not going to be enough. But Doodoo Boodoo with another incredibly decisive and aggressive ultimate here. That is going to turn things just what Center College needs. Adama also popping alt there, um, helping keep everyone alive, getting a little bit more pressure, a little bit more sustain in that fight. Probably just what Doodoo Boodoo needed to, uh, to execute that incredible Death Blossom. Is looking much more doable for Center College. They're, they're pushed up here, taking an aggressive position. They're fast enough that they should be able to get back in time if they need it. Skelogello looking for an ult here. But a, a great beat is going to deny almost all of that damage. Out here from Star Garden as well. Takes one out, but the rest of Center College is falling, and that's that's a full team wipe here. FSUPC going to go ahead and take it back. This might be last fight territory here. Things ticking up to 80% now for FSUPC. Center with no alts online could possibly build Death Blossom here if it, if it stalls for a long time. We're gonna see an early alt here from the Moira. This is kind of a good position if Dudu Budu can get out alive because that, that ultimate doesn't actually get all that much pressure on the center. Oh, nearly getting booped off. That was a big change from these patch notes is that tanks are now much more susceptible to those you know environmental kills, those uh, displacement type of abilities. Skello Jelly getting awfully hurt. Great support from Center College to keep things alive. It's going to be a great Moira coalescence. Hopefully going to be able to sustain Center through this fight. Maybe get the pick that they need. Ooh. Rally coming out as well. Great picks. Center is going to turn this. That is an excellent string of events there. Things were looking pretty, pretty hairy there for a moment. A lot of very low health bars for Center College. They were able to turn it with some incredible ultimates. But 99% for FSUPC. Center only taking up to half right now. They can't lose a single fight here. The early freeze coming out. They don't want anyone caught in this. And it's going to happen. They're going to get a little caught in it. But Dudu Budu with a super almost defensive ultimate there to, to keep his teammate alive. Just ulting on right right the exact area that he needs to sustain this fight a little bit. They might be able to get the pick onto this uh, onto this May here. Great aggression from Adama to, to be able to secure that kill. Get out safely. Rat King going to have an ult very, very soon. And the center ticks up to 90% here. This is last fight territory for either team. An early coalescence here. Center wanting to be proactive. But is it in a position that's going to get the value that they need from it? Going to be able to keep Doodoo Boodoo alive, which is huge. And a great pick onto the enemy Reaper. But Star Garden does fall. Things are looking pretty even here. Adama. Popping ult, but gets torn through with that uh, Ramatra ultimate. Both Ramatras ulting on point here, but unfortunately things are turning onto Center College. There's just too much damage, too much pressure. Star Gunner gonna try to get to point in time. Not sure if it's gonna be possible. Oh, so close. But that is gonna be map number one, Lijong Tower going to FSUPC. You see the play of the game here. Likely gonna be one of these Reaper alts, but no, it's Adama on the Brigitte. Incredible rally, able to just take up so much space, put out so much pressure. Well, folks, we'll see you in just a moment as we prepare for map number two.
FSUPC up 1-0 against Center College. Entering King Road. Initiating match.
All right, folks, we are back. I was eating a delicious bite of a granola bar when they started it. My apologies. We are here on King's Row. Center College is going to be attacking first, so they're actually on the right side. Please ignore my score graphic. That is sort of backwards. Center in red on the right. FSUPC up one to zero against Center College. Starting to hear Sing Big Soup on the Zarya. Stargarden actually on the Widowmaker, which could be a very exciting opening pick opportunity. Kind of staying outside of the, <laughs> the window for a moment here, not wanting to get to get seen. For FSUPC, we're gonna see much of the same with one swap here. No more May. We've got a Bastion. Ranch on the Bastion. Very interested to see what's gonna happen with this. Slight buff to Bastion in the in the most recent patch. Stargarden already swapping onto the venture. Didn't get that opening pick on the Widowmaker, but it's, it's always worth trying. And are able to push on a little bit around this, this opening choke point. Starting to play around the statue a bit. Big Soup able to absorb a lot of its damage with the Zarya Bubbles. That first pick, incredible. That's gonna be Stargarden onto the Lucio. Getting even more pressure. That lamp has been used. Stargarden looking low, but center is definitely up in this fight. Ranch not able to transform quite in time, and that's going to be Big Soup taking them out and chasing up here. <laughs> Doo Doo Boo Doo probably going to get this pick onto this Lucio. Um, certainly looking for it. He's able to get it. Very decisive fight for Center College. Only taking just a little bit of time to kind of play patiently around this first choke point in the in the statue here. Um, and already kind of in their back line, terrorizing. As I say that, Doodoo Boodoo taken out as Ranch swaps from the Bastion onto the May. The tried and true, the classic. But not much is lost. Doodoo Boodoo going to respawn very quickly here um, and get, get back with the team. New choke point is right around here as center starts to get the cart into that position. Doodoo Boodoo back in it. Already TP'd into their back line. Gonna go ahead and alt. It is massive. Able to take out the lamp in the process. That's gonna be a 5k for Doodoo Boodoo just immediately. I mean, I'm sure some teammates helped, but look at that. That was all him. That was incredible stuff. So much aggression. Just another decisive fight. Center is on a blazing speed. Whole team pushed up here. Just one person left to be the payload princess. That is Star Garden back here. I mean, as the payload gets a little bit closer here, that'll change a bit. We get all from Big Soup here. Able to group a lot of people up. Thought that May Alt might deny a lot of the, the damage from it, but Center is able to play around it just fine. This is another great fight <laughs> taking place nowhere near the cart. So there's no stalling here at, at all during the street space here on King's Row. We're already onto the third point here. Five minutes and 20 seconds to spare. Again, this is just a blazing speed for Center College. This is the King's Row speed run. Doo doo boo doo duking it out up top here. Rat King able to secure the pick. Center once again taking this fight real pushed up. Unfortunate, I don't think Big Soup either had the bubble available or maybe couldn't have that sight line onto Doodoo Boodoo there due to a wall. Um, Doodoo Boodoo is going to fall. This is kind of the first time in a while that, uh, that FSUPC is able to get real meaningful pressure onto the point here, and Big Soup able to take out that Reaper kind of trade here. Doodoo Boodoo must have gotten booped away or maybe, maybe Fat Fingered that. Not as impactful as the previous Death Blossoms. Um, for sure. Center may be needing to regroup here just a little bit as, as the picks are coming out and they are not favorable. Little bit of trickling in here. One by one, they fall. And FSUPC has really, really stabilized here. Looking much, much better. We're going to see four ultimates online for them. Center may be investing more than they needed to in that last one. And Rat King already starting with a proactive ult here, but it's matched from the enemy. Very aggressive ult here from West 190. 
into center college. It's going to prove pretty devastating. There's no way for center college to deny all of that damage, but Dudu Voodoo matching a lot of that pressure, getting up close and personal. Hoping to secure a pick onto that Reaper with a great, great orb here, keeping him up. It's going to be center with possession of the cart. We're going to see a swap here. No more Muramatro. We are on to a Amalga. Very exciting. We might see a Graviton Surge here. They're all grouped up. That wall once again proving pretty devastating, but center still able to take them out. So much pressure from Adama and Dudu Budu. Center hoping to maybe just win it right here. Big Soup does get frozen, but does, does it really matter? He's still on the card. He's still pushing it forward, and no one is going to be able to come here and contest from FSUPC. Three minutes and five seconds left. That is an incredible push here for the Colonels. Going to be quite difficult for FSUPC to match that blazing pace if they do complete this map at all. Though, they were really starting to stabilize there in the tail end of some of those fights. So perhaps they have figured something out about Center College. Center now coming onto the defense. We will see the character picks out here in just a moment. Big Soup onto the Orisa. Star Garden on the May. Dudubudu on the classic Reaper, Adama. Still holding it down on the Brigitte and Rat King on the Moira. We see back to that Bastion comp here. Kind of a Bastion rush brawl type of type of deal. Personally, I thought that Baptiste was doing a lot of work for FSUPC back on Lijong Tower. Um, but instead running the, the Lucio Moira for some extra speed, maybe hoping to overwhelm center um, and just win the fight quickly. Center hanging around this corner here. Uh, not wanting to get picked off by a potential Widow, but there there is none. Um, of course, with the exception of Dudu Budu, who is, as always, already in the back line. As pressure starts to come out, he's going to go ahead and drop down. He's shooting right into that big, uh, big cube on Bastion's head uh, to get some extra critical damage. And able to escape and be safe here. West 190 almost falling here. Uh, Ranch does fall on the Bastion. They're able to back out and kind of stabilize here, but they've not been able to push at this main threshold. Adama does fall. With the respawn advantage clearly favoring FSUPC, Adama falling could be a serious problem, and they are pushing it. And with an early alt here, but it does get speared. Great spear from Big Soup. Hoping to keep Big Soup alive here, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Almost impossible now for Center College to win this fight. It's just Stargarden and Adama here, and they are not anywhere near the point. Uh, they're going to go ahead and give this to FSUPC. Adama backing up, not wanting to get trace, chased down by that Reaper. All the team here to, to sort of recontest it. Dudabudu actually looking to go to site here. He might be able to make it. Oh, and just barely. He does. That's incredible from Dudabudu here, um, but is going to die in the process. Needed that extra speed boost from the, from the raid form to actually make it to point it all. I'm um, not sure if that really helped Center College, other than just by a couple of seconds. The rest of the team was not able to get there to support him. Just looking to get out safe here. FSUPC on a similar speed to Center College at this point in the map. Center wants to slow them down here in the streets phase. They have all their ultimates to do it, but they can't keep dying early. And the early alts here are going to come from FSUPC. Not what Center College wants to see. Dudu Budu probably going to be able to get a nice Death Blossom here if he's looking for it. Uh, maybe not going to opt for that as Rat King gets the picks that are needed. Dudu Budu not going to need to use that ultimate here. Center does stabilize and is able to keep this part around a very critical choke point here. Dudu Budu falling to the grenade from the Bastion. Spawn advantage still favoring FSUPC. They're not great to get any of those picks at all. FSUPC with the... Bastion ult here. That's going to take out Big Soup and Adamus. So the center is going to have to back out and regroup again. Really hoping to see center really regroup here and get the proactive ultimates out here. They have the advantage, but they have to press Q earlier. 
The Star Garden falling, pushed up a little bit too far potentially. They're still gonna have another chance to contest this point, but it's the early alts coming out from FSUPC. And they're able to alt reactively, but FSUPC has the alts to match them at every, every part of this. With the beat out, Big Soup finally gonna be able to get the big pressure onto the cart, getting a pick with the ultimate and then getting another pick as a follow-up. So Center is going to take this. They're going to stagger the tank here, which is incredible from Center College. He's going to have to go down and, and, and die in the little hole there to, to try and regroup with the team. He's going to buy Center an extra, I don't know, five, six seconds, but every second counts when FSUPC is on a pretty decent pace here. Due to Buddha once again, positioning for a cheeky flank. Oh no, that is definitely a fat finger. There is no way that was on purpose and almost dying for it as well. That is going to be pretty costly for Center College. Luckily, they still have other alts, and they are popping them here. Rat King putting down some great damage and some great heals as Star Garden kind of holds down the site and denies that space with the incredible freeze. Center wins that pretty decisively. They're not going to opt to hold super far up here. They don't have any alts, and they wanna wanna be able to get onto this payload when they need it. We see a swap from the tank once again. West 90 now on the Junker Queen. Bastion all is out here, right on top of a lot of Center's members. They're not gonna die to it, but Dudu Budu is taking a lot of pressure. Akuma not here with the team to to heal everyone. Had to back out to to not get hit by that Reaper ultimate. Kind of a scrappy fight here, Dudu Budu. Not anywhere near the, the help of, of a support and is going to get taken out. Star Garden is still alive. Might be able to get a pick onto this Junker Queen, but it doesn't happen. The heals are there. It's too much. Adama getting taken out again. This is huge amount of damage and pressure. With this swap to the Junker Queen. The center just not, not able to be in the right positions. Getting, getting separated here. With this next point capture, Center able to regroup. Big Suit going in pretty aggressively, but, but probably when I want to get out of here with that uh, huge extra damage from the wall. Rat King popping alt to keep people up. Super hurt here, but able to stay alive. Big Suit with an ultimate. Dudu Budu with an alt of his own, <laughs> able to get huge pressure into the back line. Kind of reposition around here, get a little bit of healing, and that is going to be great. Junker Queen Alt going to be available for FSUPC. You might see Adama pop the uh, his Alt to kind of negate some of the some of the damage from that, but the anti heal could be a problem. Tenor not having any of those uh, no die abilities like Suzu or Baptiste Lamp. It does come out, it hits two of center. We do see Adama matching with the all of his own. But the picks are coming out on the center college. We're gonna see if this freeze from Star Garden can do anything. Might be a little bit, you know, too little, too late. Adama just gonna try and play his life and get out here. Due to Voodoo dying, it's just Adama. And he's gonna get taken out. One minute, 20 seconds left on the clock as they approach this, this final area of the map. Center wants the full team to be here. They don't want to get picked off one by one here. No alts online, but hopefully Rat King gonna be able to have another one. Incredible for this Baptiste to get another alt out. It feels like he just had one a second ago. The Reaper alt gonna take out Rat King. Both supports down for Center College. That is gonna be a huge problem. They have no sustain in this fight here. Soup just trying to stay alive on point. Dudu Budu doing the same, but with only nine health, it's looking pretty hopeless. Adam is swapping over to the Kiriko to try to TP to someone, but there's no one to TP to. They're going to finish it. They have a minute left. Center with more time in the time bank, but both teams completing the map on a pretty good pace. Still very much anyone's game.
FSUPC on the attack once again. They've got only a minute. Be very possible if center can get some opening picks that they just stalled that whole time bank out right here. It's really only one or two good team fights, you know, if they're prolonged um, for FSUPC to uh, at least get a tick onto this first point. Of course, even with a minute in the time bank, you can still make a lot of progress if they have another decisive fight to start things off. They could push this thing all the way to the end in overtime. So Senna really wants to stall, stall this timeout and get a team fight win. Opting to stay on the Junker Queen here and with the um, Bastion. Stargarden with a Bastion of their own, but no May to kind of uh, block people into a, a position to get the full damage available from a, from a Bastion. But Bastion Zarya and Bastion Reaper, two great combinations. A lot of synergy with this tank here. Adama almost dying here. A lot almost dying here from FSUPC. Stargarden with the first pick. That's going to be onto the tank. Such a crucial member of the team. There's no way for FSUPC to push this. They're going to have to back up into spawn and regroup it with only 20 seconds left. <laughs> They're going to need to get there pretty freaking fast. Bubble expended potentially early here from Center College. Um, could be a very crucial ability. Big Suit going to want to have to have both of these available here. Um, but I'm not even sure if FSUPC can get there in time. Do they have someone on the point? Maybe a Lucio that got there fast enough? Of course they do. Um, a pick on the Big Suit, but Stargarden is laying down the damage. Three picks to Stargarden here. Already going to be able to pop the ult, denying so much space on the point. Rat King with an ult of his own. That looks like it's going to be center. Stalling it out here. That is huge. Not a single tick. Onto the point here for FSUPC. Center with three minutes and 15 seconds to make just any progress on this point. They have so many more options, so many more opportunities here to try and attack it with their, you know, triple size time bank. And now that they know their win condition, that it's just one tick on the point to win this thing, um, they're in a really good spot. They can kind of change how they want to play this. They know they only have to win one fight. They're not having to play for the long haul of trying to push this all the way down on streets phase in overtime or something like that. We're going to see if that maybe plays into their uh, their choices for team composition here. Center stand with Big Soup on the tank. Again, great synergy with Stargarden and Doodoo Boodoo as the DPS lineup here. I mean, these are the two DPS heroes who perhaps more than anyone like to receive that bubble. They want to be the center of attention pushed up there and, and in those moments, in short bursts, able to output so much damage. Um, especially incredible with the ultimate here of Death Blossom. To be able to bubble the Death Blossom and just make Doodoo Boodoo a tank and also, you know, a DPS hero at the same time is just a, a devastating combination. We're going to see a very different, ult, or a very different um, composition here from FSUPC. They've got the Juno and they've got the Cassidy. Um, I'm wondering if perhaps they're expecting a, a Farah or something like that, but they're wanting this um, this extra hit scan kind of mid to long range burst damage that the Cassidy provides. Center already looping around on the right side here. Stargarden with an early pick. That could be huge. A second pick. It looks like it's all over here just off of those two. They're going to stall for as long as they can, but... With so few left, that's definitely going to be Center College taking it here. It's just the Juno alive. Doodoo Boodoo going to go ahead and chase her. I don't know what they're backing up for because this is it. That is Center College taking map number two on King's Row here. Who are we going to see for this play of the game? It's going to be Doodoo Boodoo, of course, on the Reaper. So many decisive ults here. So many incredible death blossoms. It's got to be that 5K. He just wraps around just over into that other room and once he presses through the lamp it is just all over that is a 5k from doodoo boodoo incredible stuff folks the score is tied we're gonna see the next round here in in just a moment as we uh, start to do some map bands but center college looking great out of map number two this is a great series we have so i hope you'll join us in just a moment when we get back from the break
Welcome back, folks. We are on map number three. We're here on Coliseo. This is the pick of FSUPC as the losers of the last map. Center getting to pick the side, which does not matter on a map like this, but we decided to be blue because we want to be the good guys. Just makes it a little easier for you, the audience, to understand. Just know that we're, we're doing nice things for you, you, the audience. We care about you and your viewing experience. Now this is a push map here. So the goal is just to get this little robot as, as far as each team can. It's a totally symmetrical map. Um, but these team compositions are not symmetrical. Center staying on the Zarya here. Um, Zarya in the, with the Reaper was able to just be an incredible combo in the last map. So we're gonna see more of that here. Um, and the classic back rush here for FSUPC. Of course, the Reaper. Seems to be a specialty of ranch. Star Garden no longer on a bastion of their own. On to the venture. A little bit more, you know, flanking type of potential here for this hero. I'm already getting in here. Tons of pressure. Center needing to kind of back out here. Star Garden in a good spot to, to help Center um, split their attention a little bit. And, and of course, gonna prove deadly as Stargarden gets that first pick. If they were not in that position behind, I think that could have gone very different because the pressure, the damage, the total damage coming out was definitely higher here for FSUPC. Um, but Stargarden made them split their attention and, and, and Center was just able to, to pincer maneuver them there. Um, Ranch, a character like Reaper with, with no May to kind of create those angles and opportunities, not able to get those same type of pincer maneuvers here um, on the DPS lineup. And then of course, Big Soup and Dudu Budu doing this classic little dance they do. Um, <laughs> Dudu Budu goes in, gets bubbled, and loops back around. Star Garden falling early in this fight. Um, Dudu Budu able to go ahead and even things up. And again, it's kind of about this positioning and this pressure. Dudu Budu is in their back line. It doesn't matter how much damage FSUPC can do. It doesn't matter how much healing they can do. Their attention is split. They can't be both places at once. And Center College hitting them from both angles, playing around some of these natural cover things. And it's, it's really just a master class in positioning here and how to use these DPS heroes and get the full... Uh, use out of their kit. They don't just do damage, they, they, they split attention. And <laughs> Doodoo Voodoo and Big Soup teaming up once again for a massive ultimate here. Adama up close and personal in that fight as well, getting a ton of the damage too. Um, and that's just just a deadly, deadly combo to a, you know, like a WWE kind of kind of wrestler here from a, from the high ropes jumping down. <laughs> Doodoo Voodoo doing it again. I'm <laughs> setting up to do it again. Doesn't have ultimate here, but oh, get shredded get shredded they just turn around and get all that damage maybe needed to, to, to jump down from the high ropes a, a little sooner there on that one um, but backed up into this room here and Rat King getting great damage and sustain here with the ultimate the ults that are coming out from FSUPC are maybe coming out just a little bit too late they're not proactive they're not getting the damage they want and again it's center with the positioning they're they're not just here to do a lot of damage. They're putting FSUPC in an awkward position in each one of these fights. Adama getting super low on the health bar there. Able to pop that off, play a little bit of natural cover here, and then and maybe negate some of the damage from the beat. But <laughs> you can't stop missiles from the sky. And those are going to take Adama right out of this fight. But center can lose this. But it looks like they're not going to. Big Soup with an incredible uh, secondary fire here from, uh, from the Zarya. He's gonna go ahead and, and take this into center's favor. It looked like that was gonna be the one where FSUPC could finally start to stabilize. You know, they used resources invested into that fight. Um, a beat that did so much, and they're not even gonna make it to point in time. That is gonna be an incredibly quick victory for center college here. I don't even know what the timer was there. I mean, it was just, it was just over in a flash. Rat King on the Moira with the play of the game. Might have been that coalescence where they were all stuck in that room. They have the alt here. They're using that uh, that, that window, but it just doesn't matter. They're not able to get the pressure. The, the alt from the Ramachi here coming out just a little bit too late. Rat King just getting so much damage into them while they were in that awkward position. I just think positioning was 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 what made that 
so huge, so quick for Center College. Again, I don't even know what the final time was. It, it felt like they did that in, in less than two minutes. So much momentum here going into map number three. This is going to be the one that could potentially decide it. This is, you know, match point for, for Center College. FSUPC going to need to win two in order to take this home. Of course, it's their pick once again for what they'd like to play. It looks like they might be asking for a little bit of a break here. So this might be a little bit longer of a pause. But we'll see in just a moment for what could be an exciting conclusion to an exciting series.
Here we are, folks. Map number four. This is New Junk City. Right? I think that's what it's called. Now I'm confused. Because it's not Junker Town, but there's also New Queen Street. I know that, I promise. Let's go with New Junk City. Um, that, that feels right. Um, this is a flashpoint map. So the center gonna have to win at least three of these flashpoints to take it. Interesting, we are going to see a Reinhardt here for uh, SUPC. Not something we've seen so far. Still pre pretty, pretty good uh, line up here in terms of their composition to play around but certainly not something I was expecting to see center here with big suit back on the Zarya um, potentially looking to bubble star garden and maybe even Adam as do the voodoo is swapped over to the Sombra um, not as much of a uh, you know, candidate for that uh, bubble as, as Ruby was I'm going to give Center some extra speed here. The newest hero out of the game. Looking a lot of pressure. Walker actually maybe helping Center out a little bit. Doesn't, doesn't capture anyone from Center. Doesn't separate anyone. <laughs> we were kind of taking a little bit of damage. Uh, that gave him a moment to sort of reset. Uh, huge damage onto the Reinhardt, but it looks like Big Suku actually falls here first, and it is unfortunately the Lamp able to keep a lot of FSUPC alive, but they take the Lamp out, the Star Garden getting a pick onto the Reinhardt. Um, things are looking pretty even here. Three to three. On the point here is just Star Garden for Center College, though. Does actually swap over to, uh, to the Captor for FSUPC. Perhaps I was mistaken a little bit about how even that was. Uh, maybe some of the people in center who I thought were alive were just uh, coming back from respawn there. Um, that ended up just being a 3 to 1 there on the on the point. Maybe a little pressure on there, but not necessarily doing that pincer collapse with the team there. Um, so there's no follow up damage. Uh, incredible hack there gets all five of them from Doo Doo Doo. The rest of the team be able to push up in behind them to really capitalize on it. Adam almost falling here. Um, that's going to be an early off here for Bo from the, from the side of FSUPC, um, potentially stabilizing here. And center not able to, to swap it over, not able to uh, capture this point here. Uh, two to two here. They need to secure this pick onto the Lucio. They're able to do it. Just the Reaper and the May here. Um, big suit investing the alt to make that happen. Rat King able to get back pretty quick on the Juno. And they're going to take it over. 89% here for FSUPC. Of course, Flashpoint tickets up much, much faster than a classic control point map. They're pushing up just a little bit here. They're going up into Star Garden. They take out the lamp and force out a lot of ults here from FSUPC and get out safely. Um, pretty good, pretty good thing for Center College there. Who is it? Soup lives here getting slow on the health there. Um, Center investing pretty much all of their ults here into this fight, but they know that if they secure this, this could potentially be the last fight here. Percentages just tick up so quickly. We have been wanting to get this kind of cheeky hack to pick, but unfortunately falls 93%. Anyone for FSU to see it's going to be able to get there in time, and no, they are not. It doesn't really matter that Voodoo Voodoo fell there. Um, just takes up too quickly for FSU to see to contest. It was a pretty close one. It's early fights going in favor of FSU to see. Center going to be able to get onto the second flash point a little bit quicker. We're going to see a swap here. West 190. Onto the Malga. Adama, not quite where he wanted to be there. Taking a little bit too much damage. Going to be the first pick of this fight. Big Soup able to take out his counterpart on the tank here. Another great pick. This is definitely Center's fight to win. Doo -doo -doo -doo, Big Soup cleaning up. Now Center has some ultimates. So I'm going to be online here for FSUPC. Still in a great spot though, able to be 
and the more defensively oriented team will be able to go back and back up on that. So active ultimate here, so much damage. Rat King getting a lot of that damage himself. It's going to be a very clean team wipe. But of course, in those team wipe scenarios, the team's able to respond pretty quickly and as a group. So they're going to have another opportunity here as we get to about two-thirds of the point. And a lot of that pressure. Alt here from Star Garden. Takes the people out of this choke. We see the freeze out from Ranch. Not sure if it saw anyone. Not sure where it went. Center is going to take this, though. Lost a couple, but... They're taking these fights pretty far away from the, from the site itself, so even as FSUPC is able to get a couple of picks, they're not contesting point. For the third time, Center able to get to site faster. Flashpoint unlocks in 10 seconds. FSUPC here. Grouping up within the building here. Some more uh, close quarters engagements. Maybe looking to utilize the wall from May. They're gonna get the opening kick, but center answers back with two of their own. It's a pretty scrappy fight here. Center tapping the flash point. Star Garden falling. It's just Big Soup and Rat King left here. To get as much percentage as they can, most likely, but he might actually be able to win it as Kudaguda gets back in time and for whatever reason. They haven't been able to secure these kills yet from FSUPC. They're starting to get them now as the rest of center trickle into the site. They already got 42%. We're seeing a pause come out here from Ranch. Um, it hasn't gone into effect yet. Um, yeah, so we're seeing a pause, potentially some sort of technical issue affecting FSUPC here. Let's see if we can get this sorted pretty quick. When we come back from this, we're going to see that big soup has a Graviton Surge ready to go. Doo Doo Voodoo with his ultimate, that, uh, you know, big EMP hack onto everyone, also going to be available. Those are a potentially devastating combo to, to group everyone up and then take away all of their tools to um, mitigate any damage or try to escape from that. Or also potentially doing it in the opposite order, of course, too, um, taking away their you know, ability to escape and then hitting them with the Graviton Surge. One alt going to be online for certain in this next fight for FSUPC, and that's likely ranches unless they get taken out super early into the fight. Um, and with a such a, you know, hexagonal shape point here, um, that can be pretty impactful. Of course, you can't put it right in the middle. It'll go down that little hole, but um, may hopefully for FSUPC, it's going to be a, an important tool here to try and um, extend this. Looks like they're getting things ready, um, solving the uh, potential technical issue there for FSUPC. So we'll go ahead and get things unpaused here. Three, two, one, and here we go. FSUPC with Site Control Center at 42%. FSUPC has to win these next couple of fights. Dudu Voodoo already was in position to, to potentially go for a, a huge hack here to start things off. Damage Orb coming out from the Moira potentially needs to go the other way to, to unveil Dudu Voodoo here. And they're gonna go ahead and execute this huge combo right here. Graviton Surge and the EMP from Dudu Voodoo. Clean team fight win. FSUPC over halfway on the point, but center also pretty much at the same area there. Um, and they're going to have two alts here into this next fight. If they use these proactively as well, it's just going to be game over. FSUPC really going to need to get 
with an early pick here. Maybe denying him the ult before center has the chance to use them. Center knowing that these ults are their win con, kind of playing a little, a little careful. Close to the, to the point. And we are going to see this out front. Uh, Racking here on the Juno. Big soup taken out though. Dark Arden talking there all. Under 3%. It's actually going to be a win for FSUPC, and this was the fight they needed to win more than anything else. Center is going to be able to get it to overtime here um, with with 60, you know, two thirds of, of the way here. Um, center is really going to only have one fight at, you know, that they're going to be able to use to, to get this back. They have no ultimates online. Adama should have his pretty soon, but he's the furthest from the group. Someone's probably going to have to engage here before Adam gets back. Doo -doo 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 getting taken out. Hunter is on the site here. Trying to play the 5v4. No ult to their name. Both comes out. The Reaper ult. Able to take out one. Now we go low for FSUPC. Adam is going to try and hit him out. Still a pretty even fight here. They're starting to, to turn things into their favor. Just needs to get a pick onto this Moira, but Dudu Voodoo is hurt as well. Branch not quite able to find Dudu Voodoo though, um, which, which could have been the thing that saves this for FSUPC. Um, another opportunity to potentially take out Dudu Voodoo, but it just doesn't happen. He's on such low health, but they're not able to secure this pick. Eventually does find it, but enough of center is able to get back to the point. They have the advantage here. Beat comes out for FSUPC going to keep them alive on the point, but they need to get the picks. They need to actually eliminate some of Center College's members to be able to win this. And it looks like it's just not going to happen. This will be... Oh! Oh! I speak too soon. There's a Moira there, but surely nothing else. Oh! I'm wrong again. The Tracer comes. Reaper almost going to be able to make it to this site here, and just barely doesn't. Valiant effort there from FSUPC on that final flashpoint, but this is going to be Center College taking map number three and taking the series. Map number four, I misspoke, but taking the series center three to one. Play of the game to Big Soup on the Zarya here. Could be one of these massive Graviton surges, I presume. And we are exactly right. It's the combination with Doodoo Voodoo and Big Soup. Just such a, such a quick, easy team fight win to get all five of them grouped up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the map. Three to two, Center College over FSUPC. That's all for the day. Tomorrow we will have Rocket League. And we'll be playing around 1 p.m. So please do join us for that. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, you know, roll Kearns.